Okay. So what is a capability analysis? Capability analysis is evaluate how well a process meets a set of requirements that is defined by specification limit. Okay, when your process is centered, okay, when your process is centered and well within the specification, a lower specification and upper specification is more capable of consistently produce product that meets customer expectation. Okay, so this one is like say your process is outside either lower specification limit or upper specification limit, we consider that the process is not capable. Okay, so when to use capability analysis to ensure that the process meets the customer specification to estimate the proportion of the product that's not meet specification. So why we use capability? We want to uh, choose which vendor consistently provide the superior quality parts. Is it the variability in the process low enough to consistent provide the parts that fall within the specification limit? Does the process need to be shifted to operator more effectively within the specification limit? Okay, so before we go further, uh, some terminology we need to clarify here is control limit and specification limit. Control limit means that calculate from the process or VOP, voice of process, and specification limit is, let's say, from the your customer or our customer, we call it VOC. Okay, for the control limit, what our process is design and then specification what we want the process to do. So actually, uh, for the control limit, we have UCL, upper control limit and lower control limit. And then for the specification limit, we have upper specification limit and lower specification limit. So instead, let's say this one is the our process here. Okay, so this one is lower LCL and UCL. This one is our target. And here is about specification limit is determined by designer or customer is that. Okay, so means that for the capability, we focus on the VOC. But we make sure before that your process is capable, your process is stable before you evaluate the capability of your process. Okay, so this one is a uh, step how to run the capability using Minitab. For your information, in Minitab, we have two ways to represent uh, capability analysis using step menu button. Another way, if let's say you can use the assistant menu button, I will, I will, I will show after this. Okay. In, uh, capability using the step menu button, we have capability spec. We cover for the normal, non-normal, and then we have between and within. And then for the capability analysis, we have continuous data, mistake measurement data. Okay, so we cover for the normal, non-normal, and then we have multi per variable for normal and non-normal, and then we have between and within. Let's say your data set is a accept or reject non-conformity, conformity. So we consider that, that our data is attribute data and set. therefore you can go for the binomial or poison distribution. But more inside uh, information, better your data is a continuous data set. Okay. So this one is an assumption you need to fulfill before you calculate your capability analysis, okay, your capability matrices. The first assumption, your process should be stable over the time. So how to evaluate your process, is it stable or not stable? You, you need to using the uh, control check, okay? So let's say if, let's say, uh, you using control chart for expert or chart means that your subgroup size more uh, less or equal to five so you can go for the expert chart if let's say more than five okay 
you can go for the X bar, X tag. Or let's say your subgroup only one, so your X, your control chart is IMR control chart. Okay, so let's say the consideration of the stable your process or in control process in is one in which the key process respond and the product's property show no signal of the special causes. Okay, means that if let's say if you using Minita, we have color code. Let's say if have a red color, means that your process is out of control. So red, uh, blue color, means that your process in control. Another assumption is we need to assume our distribution. Okay, so let's say if your distribution is normal distribution, so you can check in by the histogram with the normal curve, or you can go for the normal probability plot. Okay, to check in whether your data set is a normal or non-normal distribution. Or let's say your data set, you cannot assume that that one is normal. You can using, we call it the identify uh, distribution through the mini tab. I will show after this how to run it if let's say your data is not normal. Okay. So this one is example capability index or we call it capability matrices to evaluate the process capability. So most of the organization of or our customer using the CPCPK or PP and CPK. So let's say your customer different uh, industry maybe have different preference to using the capability index. Maybe can go for the sigma level or DPU, DPMO or DPMO and PPM. This one is example of the capability index you can generate through the mini tab. Let's say you doesn't using the CP, CPK or PP, PPK. Okay, so this one is the how uh, CP, how you to evaluate your CP, CPK. Okay, potential capability associated with the within subgroup and the duration. Okay, so this one is the uh, formula how to get the CP and the CPK. Okay, let's say our CPCPK less than one, the status is not capable. Maybe the action you can do it is, let's say improve by reducing the variation, means that common causes of variation, or you can use the 100 inspection. Or let's say your CPCPK equal to one, you're marginally capable, do nothing or some process improvement but needed on the sample size. If let's say, based on the AIG standard and then most of customer using the standard is CPCPK uh, more than 1.3, we consider that is a capable. And then let's say CPCPK more than 2 is highly capable. They no need to do the inspection. Okay, for example, if let's say your CPCPK assume uh, slightly same with the CP, uh, CPK, so means that the process is centered within the specification limit. Okay, so let's say of CP uh, not equal with the CPK, the process is not centered. Maybe the process shift to the right or shift to the left, maybe shift to the upper con upper specification limit or lower specification limit. Okay, since go for the overall capability of PPK. Okay, so overall capability associated with the overall sample standard deviation. So this one is uh, how they how they generate uh, the value for the PP, PPR, PPK. Okay, or if let's say you have a target, so you have another way is we call it CPM. Okay, the same uh, evaluation with the CP, CPK for the PPPK is let's say less than one is considered that not capable. Is one is marginally capable. And let's say it's uh, more than 1.3 is capable. More than two is highly capable. So the CP is something like short term. For the C, uh, PP or PPK is like uh, long term measurement. Okay, so this one is the differences between within is CP 
or CPK, overall capability is PP, PP and PPK. Okay, so let's say for the weeding, CP, CPK, used to compute the index with respect to the subgrouping. And then how well your process could perform if you eliminated variation between the subgroup and then we call it short term. And then we applicable for the normal data distribution only. Okay. And then for the PP is the whole process. And then uh, the actual performance of the process that customer experience and then can be a long term capability. And then if applicable for a normal and non-normal data distribution. Okay, so this one is, I, I will try to uh, compare between uh, capability suspect and capability analysis. Inside the suspect means that you have a six picture. Inside there, have to, we have two assumptions. The first assumption is control uh, chart is it your process is controlled and then we have another uh, distribution of the data set if let's say you're using six pack for the uh, capability analysis we doesn't appear any assumption okay unless you need to check in the assumption first before you go for the capability analysis so we have two way to represent the capability analysis through the mini tab. Okay, so I think I go to mini tab first. Okay, what I will view. Okay, as we know mini tab 19 just released on last uh, June last year. So if let's say if you are new with the mini tab 19, so this one is we call it uh, Single interface where your worksheet here, your navigator here, and then your output, whether the graph or uh, in numeric output is appear in we call it output pin. Okay, so for enhance for capability analysis, let's say I wish after this, and then for your information, is let's say you want to go further with this uh, enhance for mini tag 19, you can go to our website okay uh, www.business.com or you can subscribe our youtube channel for the past webinar how to uh, you to know what is the enhance for minute and 19 okay so i go back to this example here okay i have one example here an engineer manufacturer use a Foggins process to make piston greens. The quality engineers wants to access the process capability. Okay, they collect 25 subgroups of five piston green and measure the diameter. The specification limit for piston green diameter is 74 mm plus minus 0 0.05 mm. So data set I will use is this. Green diameter. Okay, I go directly to that data set. Okay, so we said this one is we have 25 subgroup. Every subgroup we have five uh, piston ring. So we said now if let's say we need to check in our assumption first, we need to uh, draw or uh, create the control chart okay so go to set go to con control chart subgroup size which is as far chart okay so this one is diameter this one is five and then you click okay so checking your assumption first okay so now based on this output so we see that the process is controlled okay the second part we need to uh, fit distribution, okay, fit distribution. So how? Go to stat, basic statistic, go to normality test, and then you choose diameter here. So basically we go for the AD, absent that link, okay, and then click OK. I will show how we do. Go to stat, basic statistic, 
normally the task and then choose diameter and then click OK. So you get the for probability plot. OK, so since this one p value more than 0, 0, 0.05, so we consider that our data is normal distribution. OK, so we have two assumption here. OK, the first is our process in control because all the sample inside the control limit. OK, and then the second part our data is normally distribution since the p value more than zero more than 0 0.05 okay so we can proceed with the capability analysis so as i mentioned before this we have two ways using mini tab to create the capability analysis right this is one is the stat menu okay stat menu quality tools and then we have capability analysis. Okay, we have normal between reading, we have non normal, we have multiple variables. If let's say you have more than one variables inside the uh, worksheet, okay, you have let's say your data set is attribute data set, you can go for the binomial or Poisson distribution. Okay, for this case, we go for the normal. Okay, since we know our uh, data set is the normal distribution. So diameter sub group size is 5. So our lower specification limit is 70. Okay, and then click OK. Okay, I will do go to stack, go to quality tools, go to capability analysis, choose normal. You choose the diameter, subgroup size 5, and then you insert the lower spec or upper spec, and then you click OK. So you now you get the capability uh, report. Okay, so since that we go for the CP and we go for the CPK. So since the CP and CPK more than 1.33, so this process is capable. Okay, so if let's say you go for this histogram also inside the specification limit, lower and upper. For those are uh, not go for the CPCPK, you can go for the PPPM or less than LSTR or PPM more than UCL. Okay, so this one is the how to use capability analysis. So I will have another way to represent the capability back to this one, the same case study, but different method only. Okay, so go to stack, go to quality tools, go to capability suspect. Since our data is normal, go for the normal. Okay, this one is diameter, subgroup size 5, this one the same information. Okay, and then click OK. Okay, so now you get the capability suspect. How we do? Go to stat, go to quality tools, go to capability suspect, choose normal. And then you insert the diameter here, subgroup, and then lower specification limit or upper specification limit and click OK. So you get this report. So this one is we call it the assumption. Okay, assumption for the process is it uh, control or not control and then this one is the normal distribution okay so the same we have capability history histogram here and then based on this capability plot the value is more than 1.33 so the process is capable so this one is we have two way to represent the capability analysis using mini tab. Whether you go for the capability analysis or you can go for the capability SISPAC. In SISPAC, we have assumption inside there. For the capability analysis, we doesn't have any assumption inside the report. So you need to check in one by one. Okay. So this one, I think we go for another Okay, so the spiders. Okay, that's good. Okay, so this one is the enhanced 
for the capability, normal capability enhanced for the mini tap lighting. They provide the confidence interval for the expected overall PPM more than LCR, PPM more than UCL, the PPM total. And then provide the confidence interval for the expected within the PPM less than LCL, LSL, PPM more than UCL, PPM total. Okay, so the allow two sided and one sided option for the confidence interval, and then modify the lower bounds calculation for the then that means using the better method and then provide the upper confidence limit in additional to lower confidence limits of CPM and then added a global option to display CPM or percentage and to display confidence interval. So I will show. Okay, so go back to the this one, the same case study. Okay, but I will show to the enhance of the mini tag 19 from the old version. So go to start again, go to quality tools, capability is normal. So go for the option. Okay, so we have this kind of the, let's say you can go for the benchmark Z flavor or the same thing, but you want to include the confidence interval. Okay, whether it's one sided or two sided. Okay, and then you click OK, you click OK. Okay, so Okay, so if let's say for the enhance, we provide the confidence interval for each measurement. Okay, let's say for the CP, confidence interval for the CPK. Okay, and then we have a uh, confidence interval for the PPM. And then this one is the old version. So you cannot uh, get it information about the confidence interval for the CP and CPK. Okay, this one is the old version. This one for enhance. We have a CP, CPK, but this one is applicable for the capability and this is only. It doesn't not capable, uh, applicable for the capability system, for the confidence interval here. Okay, more information you can get if, let's say, you're using the new uh, version. We that nothing. Okay. We uh, are we. Redo again, go to stack, go to quality tools, analysis, normal, and then go for the option. And then you click the include confidence interval. If let's say you want to go to for the two-sided, also go to sided. And then you get this kind of the reporting. Okay, you have confidence interval for each measurement here. Okay. So this is back already showing. Okay, we have another case study. Okay. Okay. Uh, this one is for non-normal data. Okay, quality engineer and the company that manufacture flow ties in investigate customer complaint about the wrapping in the ties. To ensure production quality, the engineer measure wrapping in 10 ties each working day for 10 days. The upper specification limit for the raw, uh, wrapping measurement is 8 mm. So the worksheet I uh, will use is type of wrapping. Okay. But if let's like, say you have a non-normal data, we have to approach to perform a capability analysis. The first one, you need to select a non-normal distribution model that fits your data. And then you analyze the data using the capability for non-normal data. The first choice. The second approach, maybe you can use the transform the data so that the normal distribution is an appropriate model and use the capability analysis for the normal data such as normal capability analysis. So for information, if let's say you have a non-normal data set, you are applicable to using capability analysis to evaluate your process, whether you using a normal distribution or you can using the transform the data first and then you go for the normal way, go for the normal distribution uh, maybe. Okay. So 
So I will show the first approach here. Okay, so we need to identify the best distribution to our data set before we go further. Non-normal distribution. So we have another case study here. Okay, wrapping types. Okay, the first step I will show is I need to uh, identify the best distribution for this data set and then follow up by the non-normal uh, capability analysis or non-normal capability suspect. Okay, so where we did go for the set, go to the quality tools again, and then go for the individual distribution and identification. So you click here. Okay, so let's see here we have a wrapping. Okay, so we have a top group is 10. And then you want to use all distribution, okay, and transformation. For your information, in many type, we can identify 40 type of distribution. For example, exponential, waveform, gamma, trig parametric, uh, normal. So we have uh, 40 uh, type of distribution. And then you click OK. So this one, so we have this one, okay. So we have a good list of tests for this kind of the distribution. We have ML distribution. Okay, I will show again, go to stat, go to quality tools, go to individual distribution identification. So the single column here, your start good size and then click okay. So since I choose all the distribution, so they come up with the all distribution. Let's say here is we have a normal. So based on the p-value is less than 0 0.05, it's not fit for this distribution. So let's say we go for another, I think, easy to see here, okay? So this means that from here, we say that uh, for three parameter variable is more than 0 0.05. So the best fit distribution for this case is three parameter variable. So after you identify your non-normal distribution, so you could go back to capability analysis. So step, go to quality tools, go to capability analysis, you choose non-normal. Okay, for this case, it's working. Okay, so the fit one is three parameter variable. Okay, and then the logo it doesn't have any uh, information, so we have it here. And then click OK. So now you get the PPK. Since for the non normal data, just provide the PPK, not the CPK. Okay, PPK. So based on this overall less than 1.3, so this process is not capable, okay? So the process is not capable. So if let's say you see here, almost uh, more than UCL, uh, USL, okay? Sorry, more than USL. Okay, the first approach, you need to choose the best identification distribution based on this. And then you go for the capability analysis non-normal since you already identify your distribution of your data. Okay. The second approach is you need to transform the data. Okay. So that the normal distribution is an appropriate model and use the capability analysis for normal data such as normal capability analysis. I go back to this one. Okay, we try with the capability analysis, but you need to transform your data first. Okay. Okay, in Minitech, we have two approaches, two methods to transform our data. The first method is we call it box called transformation. And then the second method is we call it Johnson transformation. For new level for the box code is more uh, simple rather than Johnson transformation. Okay. 
let's say you the harika of the transformation we go for the box cut first and then if let's say box cut is not cannot be a normal distribution so you can go for the uh, johnson transformation okay box cut is simple rather than johnson uh, transformation okay So we go to start, okay. Qualitos, you can go for the analysis and then you choose normal. And then here we have transform. Okay. And then you choose transform. Okay, so you choose the first one is box cut. Then you click OK. Then you click OK. Okay, so from there, we already transform our data using the box cut, and then you get the value for the CP, CPK. Okay, so you get the CP. PPK here less than 0 or uh, 1.3 so the process is not capable also but now you go for the transform our data using the box code. okay so you after that you calculate the control with confident for the PPPK or we have another way go to start again Okay, quality tools, and then you transform first. Johnson transformation only applicable for this one. Okay, quality tools, and then Johnson transformation. Or I will show. Uh, I will show again. Stack quality tools. Okay, this is normal, and then you choose the single subgroup size. If let's say you have more than that lower specification you can include here we have upper only so go for the transform you choose the box cop transformation and then you click ok and then you click ok ok you get the capability uh, normal using the box cop transformation ok so we have the way to represent the capability uh, for the non-normal data, the first step you need to identify the distribution first. After you dis uh, identify what is the fit distribution for your data set, so you proceed with the capability uh, non-normal, or you can go directly to the uh, normal, but you need to transform uh, the data set. Okay. So let's say if both distribution, fit and then transformation still do not work, you can go for the CNPK or you can collect more data, usually more than 100. Once you have for more data, the correct distribution may be easy to determine. And then have a better resolution, instrument might be the best solution to find the best uh, distribution of your data. Okay. So we go for the next one. Okay. okay. For the next step, we show how to using the system menu. Okay. So a system menu is a pick appropriate uh, statistical tool. They give it the step by step guidance to ensure you success with the uh, statistical analysis and then you can run analysis quickly and easily and then easy to interpret your result with the confidence where in the assistant menu we provide the summary report we provide the variation report and then we provide the report card and then uh, easy to share your finding with someone click on it okay i will show how to using the assistant menu button. Okay, I go back for the first uh, case study. The first our case study here. Okay, the same case study for the first one for the normal distribution. Okay, so go to assistant. Okay, go to capability analysis. 
Okay, so they provide you the data type first. What is data type? So you can click here. Okay, if let's say continuous, what is continuous? They give it the example here. What is attribute here? They give it the example. If you, let's say you not clear part, what is your data type? You, okay, for example, this one is a measurement. So we go for the continuous data. Okay, so continuous data applicable for the capability analysis. So click capability analysis. For this one, in one column only. Okay, go. So we have five. Lower we have for three. This one is we have seven to four. Okay, if let's say you have target, you can include the target three, four. Okay. Okay, sorry. Okay, so if let's say you're using the assistant, we have a summary report, we have diagnostic report. We have a performance report and then we have the report card. Okay. I will do again, go to assistant, go to capability analysis. Since our data is continuous, you can go for the capability analysis. So you include all this dialog box. Okay. So and then click OK. So you get the capability analysis summary report. They give it you the how capable is the process. Okay, this high. Okay, and then this one is customer requirement, and then this one is the overall capability. Okay, so this one is the comment. Let's say if let's say you have another comment, you just double click here. Okay, so you can go further. Let's say here, then you click OK, and then you click OK. So we have this one. We have also the diagnostic report for the capability. Okay, control check, the first check, and then we have a normal NIT plot. Okay, and then we have performance. Okay, report seems like the capability analysis over there. We have a capability statistic here. Okay, so not only for the CPCPK, we have PPTM, or you can go for the ZBench. And then we have a report card here. Report card means that it's let's say they are. Uh, Ask about the stability, how many subgroups you have, okay, your data is a normal or not. This some seems like your assumption for all the uh, statistic analysis here, okay. So, in summary, we have a three way, okay, basic one for the three way. The first capability analysis step, quality tools, capability analysis. The second approach is we go for sorry, we go for the stack quality tools six pack normal or non normal or you can using the assistant example okay so we have three method three approach. To create the capability analysis using mini tab. Okay, the first step, capability analysis, uh, six pack, sorry, six pack, this one is capability analysis, this one is using the assistant mini button. Okay, and then I will call again. If let's say you passing with the non normal data, okay, try. Uh, fit distribution first and then proceed with the capability non normal data and then let's say your data is not fit to any distribution you can go for the transforming data whether box code or Johnson transformation and then you go for the normality capability analysis okay Okay, assessing process capability before and after making process change can be valuable and easy way to prove improvement we make while always ensuring your process is still meeting specification limits and producing the good parts. Okay. I think so if let's say you have any question, you can type them in the question box. Okay.
Okay, regarding the uh, this material, I will send you if you give it your email address and then I will send you directly. Okay, with the data set and the uh, material itself. Okay. Oh, for this round, I doesn't have example for attribute capability, but I will provide the link to example for the attribute capability. Okay. Any other question? But let me know your your email address. Easy to me send the material. Any other question? If I have, I, I have customer equation for the PCP CPK, uh, which do I give it to CPK or PPK and why? Okay, since I go for this kind of terms, okay. The differences between CP and CPK. Okay, so this one, okay. CP, CPK and PPK, but for CP, CPK is just only for the short term capability. And then for the PPPK is for the actual performance of the process that customer experience. For the PP and PPK is more for, for the long term, okay, for the CP and CPK. So maybe uh, in theoretical part, let's say you have a small data set, so you can go for the CP CPK. If let's say you have more data set, you can go for the PP and PPK. Okay, have another question. Okay, so if let's say you want to try or buy Militech Mini, 19, okay, you can visit to our website www.minitech.com or www.visits.com or you can contact us or email us to sales at visits.com or minitech at visits.com or you can follow us to know about the our event or any tips from our technical part so you can go for the uh, uh, Facebook Minitech Malaysia and Singapore or link Minitech Malaysia and Singapore to know our, our latest event. Okay, so you can go or you can scan in this QR code only. Okay. Okay, so if let's say it doesn't have any question, I think I would like to wish happy Chinese New Year to all of you. Hopefully, you can uh, can see you again for the next month webinar on the design of experiment. Thanks.